you help Quinn jump in? Then I would do it again. What in the world could he have said to you to make you a party to this? You don't get it. I decided. I don't believe you. Then don't believe me. Or believe me. I don't care what you think. But don't expect me to be sorry because I'm not. Do you mind telling me what you were always so angry with me about? Maybe it's about time. Being the subservient, eager to please little number two daughter never got me very far. Maybe I should have been more like Eden. No one ever expected it or wanted you to be like Eden. Oh, come on, Daddy. Eden was always perfect. She always did the right thing. The perfect daughter, and then you had Kelly. Where the hell is this all coming from? You can compare our love life. I mean, she picked Cruz. You can't pick better than Cruz. And poor misguided Kelly always made the wrong choices, which her father had to sabotage, always for her own good. Oh, for God's sake, was I wrong? Were any of those men good enough for you? Why is that, huh? Is it because I have bad taste? Or is it because you never respected me enough to let me make my own decisions the way you always let Eden? Kelly... I fail to see what you expect to gain by bringing this all up now, except a lot of pain. Did it occur to you ever that I made those choices to rebel? Maybe to get your attention? That I did it all on purpose to say, hey, it's me, it's Kelly, I'm here, I'm alive! Was there ever a sorrier bunch than the little Capwells always stumbling over each other, clamoring at your heels? I guess even negative attention was better than none at all. Mason, this is my fight. And it sounds like a very good one. Please, have had it. I'll just watch. Eden is gone. But she taught me a few things, Daddy. She taught me about independence. She taught me to be responsible for my life. And she taught me that I don't have to tolerate you or anyone else interfering in my life, ever. Could you possibly uh, have interpreted my interference as something else other than it was, which was love? To keep you from making some terrible mistake? Did you ever stop to think that was our reason? That your mother and I don't, possibly... Don't, don't include Mama. Don't. I know that you moved out of the bedroom. And I also know that you are blaming her for Eden's death. How could you do that? This I will not discuss with you. I've got a few words to say on that. Shut up, Mason! 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 I... Listen to me, Daddy. I am moving back into this house. Considering what you just said, I would think this is the last place you would want to be. The family's going through hell right now, and it shouldn't be scattered. Somehow we've got to find a center. Good luck. We all have to learn to live as a family without Eden. And that includes you, Mason. Oh, don't look at me. I was excommunicated. The first step is your step, Daddy. You need to let go of whatever it is that you're holding against Mama and forgive her. And then all of us will move on from there. <laughs> oh, Kelly Bean, why do you even bother? <laughs>